Today's Wonder Kid is one of the best in FM23, and I'm surprised that we haven't shown you him already in a video so far. He starts off at the age of 16 with an amazing set of attributes already and can grow to be one of the best in the world. He'll also be in most of your saves, but best of all, he can often be picked up on a free, and I'll tell you how in this video. So let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar. And as I mentioned, stick with me in this one because I'll talk you through exactly how you might be able to get this player for a bargain price. And also we'll show you how to turn him into one of the best players in world football. What he does in this simulation is nothing short of extraordinary and I'm very excited to show him to you. The first thing we need to do is come to Germany and to Bayern Munich. As I scan through and find this player, don't forget to like the video if you find it useful and to show your support and let us know in the comments who you'd like to see next but yes we're going to Bayern's team searching by all players filtering by age and you will find 16 year old versatile midfielder Paul Wanner you might or might not have heard of Paul already if I'm correct he actually made some first team appearances for Bayern Munich in real life recently but I'm going to show you in this video how to make him one of the best in the game but let's talk about the kind of player we're looking at first I mean straight away you will see 16 years of age he's got some phenomenal attributes including some great physicals and by the way I've just adjusted my skin so that 15s no longer show as bright greens I think that changed when I was doing a skin video once and I've now sorted it so yes 15s are the correct yellow color instead of green but straight away what I was saying was his physicals are very very strong 14 pace 14 acceleration 13 agility good jumping reach natural fitness balance everything you'd want in a midfielder yes his strength is a bit low but that will come with time he is only 16 at this point his mentals are probably his weakest aspect but that's not to say that they're terrible good composure determination flair is very good but his vision is very good for a player of his age combined with 13 passing and 15 technique this is a great start for young Paul Wanner here he's got good long shots as well good first touch good on a set piece and he can finish and dribble for a 16 year old he really has got a hell of a lot in his locker and you'll also see a big benefit of him is that he's so versatile and able to play a variety of roles now it should be noted as well he is left-footed if you're looking for a left-footed player and overall his attributes look very good now his potential range is 150 to 180 so on the low end he's definitely worth this money on the high end he's going to be worth way more than the price you're paying for him here now the reason I say you should keep an eye on this player is because very very often at the end of his second season with Bayern Munich I've seen this in a lot of saves he is available to sign for a free deal. Now, it is still heavy competition. Often he goes to Manchester City on a free or a club of that caliber. So add him to your shortlist, scout him, obviously try and sign him. But if you need to, wait till that second season when his contract gets low and starts to come towards that sixth month period, try and approach to sign him. Now, that's not to say it will happen in every save. There's a good chance Bayern Munich might give him a contract in your save, but he's definitely worth keeping an eye on. But now it's time to bring him over to our Real Madrid team using the editor to show you how we're going to get him right to the top of his game. Okay, here we are. We've moved him over to our Real Madrid side. Don't forget as well, if you do enjoy this kind of content, to subscribe. We do Wonder Kid to Superstars on a weekly basis, as well as a bunch of other videos. We do daily football manager content here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on Wonder Kids like Paul. You might see we're using him as a Mazala on the attack duty, but we'll get to that in a few seconds. Firstly, in terms of his training, all I'm asking him to do is to learn the position he's in. Now, to make it clear, we are making making sure he's focusing on a role because then you get much better development from your players. So make sure he's doing that. He is learning the role that he's playing, Mazala on the attack duty. No additional training is being done, but he is also being mentored by some of the more experienced players at the club. This is a good sign though. His coach report is glowing and they really do think he could become a top tier player, but I am using him in the center of midfield purely because in these simulations the number 10s don't tend to do as well. But all we're doing is running a 4-3-3 Gagan press tactic with Paul as the Mezala on the attack duty on this left hand side getting forward into these channels and hopefully taking a few shots on goal I haven't got any additional instructions on him we're not making him do anything crazy but he is now in our team so first let's simulate a few years ahead to see what he might look like on the lower end of his potential range in your saves okay here we are in 2025 Paul has been in our first team at Real Madrid for three years now whilst we are forcing him to play every game I won't completely put it past him being able to play at this kind of level 
ball. Obviously, you wouldn't use him on a regular basis, but considering he's 16 with those attributes, you could easily see him playing for some of the biggest sides in the world. But for the simulation purposes, yes, we are making sure he plays as often as possible. And this is him at 150 current ability. So the lowest end of his potential range, he will look something like this, depending on how you train him. Of course, because he is so young, you can really mold him into whatever kind of role you want. But right now, he's 19 years of age with some phenomenal attributes. And as you can see, his value has absolutely skyrocketed. He is now representing Austria with 23 caps and four goals. And physically, he's really came into his own. Everything is at a good level, including that strength now, which has gone up to an 11. His mental attributes are starting to develop. His decision-making, composure, off-the-ball work, vision, all of it getting better now. His technique is also improved, as has his passing. Free kicks are also much better. His first touch finishing, dribbling, all of it is developing very nicely. And already he's a very well-rounded midfielder. Considering he's only 19 years of age, he's becoming a complete midfielder right from the off. And straight away, he's had an impact in our team. Four goals and eight assists at the age of 16. Nothing crazy, but still pretty good. After that though, he really starts to come into his own with six goals and 10 in the next season. But then this season, 14 goals and 18 assists at the age of 18 to 19 with a 7.41 average match rating. This is in a Real Madrid team with some of the best players in the world and he's still picking up player of the match awards and doing very, very well. So clearly this man is a real talent. But of course, this is only him at the lowest end of his potential range. So let's forward ahead and see just how good he can look at full growth. The year is now 2032. I hope you're prepared to be blown away. I'm going to let you sit there and look at him for a few seconds, but he is a four and a half star player and this is how good he looks. Now, whilst you take in those attributes, I'll just quickly let you know, I do have my own channel linked in the description down below. We've got some rebuilds over there, a Let's Play series going on with Aberdeen, which a lot of you are enjoying. And also to people who like this kind of content, we do shorts every week showing off some of the best Wonder Kids once they've developed. Not the ones that are good enough to be in Wonder Kid to Superstars, but different kinds of players that you might not have even heard of. So come on over, hit the subscribe button and I'll massively appreciate it. You'll find the link to it in the description down below. But yes, let's get back to Paul, who is currently unhappy at our Real Madrid side because we have haven't reached the Champions League later stages. However, we're very happy when we see the kind of player that he is now. Excellent physical attributes, 16, 17s, 15s, the lowest being strength at 13. Very much a complete midfielder for us. His mental attributes have gone off the charts now. Amazing decision-making and composure, brilliant flair off the ball work, work rate and vision. Already he's shaping up to be one of the best midfielders you've ever seen. And then you come into the technicals where his dribbling is exceptional. First touch, passing, technique. He's a great creator, but that doesn't take away from his goal scoring ability with 14 long shots, 15 free kicks, 13 finishing, crossing, corners, penalty taking. He has got the lot. At the age of 26, he's still valued around £100 million, considered a star player at Real Madrid and scored 55 in 95 appearances for Austria, which is particularly impressive for a national side that you wouldn't expect to dominate every single game that they play in. One goal every two games for them, but if we're talking about what he's done for us in the league, I mean, it's just crazy when you look at some of these numbers. This season, he's hit more than 30 goal contributions. He's done it in the past as well, hitting consistently good average match ratings. He scores as many goals as he creates. He's a very, very well-rounded midfield player who can do everything you'd want of him. But let's see how good he is by the end of his career. And after another huge jump in time, you can see Paul kept it up. And I mean, one season... I'm not joking, 38 games played, 31 goals. Okay, nearly a goal a game. That's very impressive from the center of midfield. Why don't I just throw in 21 assists as well, boss? Yeah, he's really just done the absolute lot for us here. 7.86 average match rating. A few seasons later, he scores 25 and assists 32 at the grand old age of about 33, 34. This man is incredible. The numbers he's hit are crazy. Just to let you know, in case you can't see it under my head, 741 games played with 337 goals and 323 assists. That's a 7.5 average match rating and nearly averaging out to a goal contribution a game from centre midfield. That's insane statistics, but let's see if he's won 
the one that we all want to know. Did he win a Ballon d'Or? I thought this was him at the top, but it isn't. Instead, Paul won it for four years on the bounce between 2032 and 2035. He goes one, two, three, four wins for him. Considering that's from centre midfield, that is an incredible result. You never see something that good usually from a midfield player, particularly when he's got three players ahead of him that are more advanced and expect to score more goals. But I should note as well, those stats I read off earlier, that's only his league statistics. So if I was to add it up, I'm sure he's hit over 500 goals and 500 assists. I'll check after this video, but I'm going to give him an incredible 10 out of 10. I really do think he's one of the best you can get. Even if you have to pay up for him in your first couple of seasons, he's worth it. But the fact that you might be able to get him for free just elevates him to a whole nother level. Paul Wanner is one of the best in this year's Football Manager. If you haven't tried him out yet, you're missing out. But that's the end of today's video. Let me know in the comments who you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and smash the subscribe button for more content like this. Check out my channel linked in the description down below. But most of all, have a great day everyone and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.